Hey guys, so I have a quick update here on the baby bunnies. So all you guys know that the baby bunnies were in um the house out there that we got for them. Um, so they're now three weeks old and they're um they're starting to get out of the of the nest and stuff and exploring and stuff. And um so they couldn't be in there no more, guys, because just the reason being on that is because sometimes um we having um got um chicken wire like on the sides and stuff so they can't fit really good in the fence so that's why we put them on a cage now on the cage i'm gonna show you that later but um they're in a cage and um is the wood cage out there that we made is that cage right there they're inside there and um we have now five baby bunnies because one we lost one um one black one like this like solid black we lost due to them getting out and and not coming back to the nest because they did it or just probably just just left running out so that's why the, that's the reason we actually moved them because it was time you know they're three weeks now like almost four weeks already they're um they're i don't think they're per bread but they are um um the mom is per bread my florida white she's per bread and um so they're just little tiny you know Florida white rabbits don't really grow that much, but they're even though they're small guys, they're almost four weeks old. Believe it or not, they're almost four four weeks old. So um, they're getting pretty big already, um, on the age, but not on the size. That's really funny, but um, but uh, yeah, um, so this video I'm just gonna do a quick video on showing you how I feed these baby bunnies. I actually um bring the mama in. And start feeding them with the mama. So we're gonna continue. We're gonna get started on this video. This is how a normal Florida white rabbit will grow to. This is the full size of it. So um, the babies. Um, I actually laid down the mama for she can feed them. Cause if I just put them in there, she'd just be running around and trying to explore everywhere and stuff like that. So this is the the full size of the of the of the rabbit but we're gonna cover her because we don't want her to be exploring around and stuff so we're gonna cover her like that okay because rabbits pee the guys and this that stinks especially in the bed so um we just cover her a little bit but she's she's in there she's safe but um we're gonna get started all right so we're gonna start guys so um the first thing to do this is get the um, get the um, the rabbit out of here. But well, we're not gonna get her out. We're, what we're gonna do is um, <laughs> my dogs ran out, so <laughs> they wanna be out here. But um, we're gonna get the rabbit out. This safe um way to get a rabbit um whatever kind of rabbit doesn't have to be this specific rabbit but whatever kind of rabbit is by their um by here like that but you can grab it either way you can just pick it up like a like a normal like that you can pick it up i see this rabbit is tattooed she has a tattoo in her ear so i don't know if you guys can see that or not but I'll show you guys real quick she has a tattoo there I'm not sure if you got the camera got it, but um, we're gonna put the um, the towel here. We're gonna put it here, and just like that, for um, the bunnies can't slip and stuff like that. And that's just easier for the for the bunnies and for the mom. So what we normally do is um, we get the bunny. We um, lay her on her side and just let the baby bunnies feed on her and stuff. So um, the rabbit is not going to be happy about this procedure, but um, I don't think it's a better way to do this. And we, I have to do this because the bunny, this rabbit right here, can't get inside. Um, she can't get inside the cage because it's close and stuff where the bunnies can get out. So we always do the this around 4 p.m. every day. So it just... 
the bunnies have um, food and pellets and stuff and water and stuff, but we just want to, you know, give them a, a little bit of milk. But they can be weaned by now. They're almost four weeks old, like tomorrow or um, I think by Sunday they're going to be, Saturday, I mean, they're going to be like um, four weeks old. So let's, uh, let's continue. And um, we're going to get the bunny, the rabbit. We're just going to get her to lay for us this way. It could be the other day when he's there, just, just not really, really happy about this. But, um, well, they are happy, but the rabbit is not. Okay. I'm going to move you guys to the other side where you guys can see it better. All right, so what we're going to do now is, um, we're going to lay the bunny, the rabbit. So if you guys don't, um, oops, if you guys don't. Yeah, I haven't seen a, um, a, um, Florida White. This is a Florida White. Um, they're really good meat rabbits and pet rabbits and all that stuff. But, um, they can be, um, pet and all that stuff. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so we have everything here set up and stuff. So, we're going to start bringing the kits here. So what we're gonna do, just make her comfortable in here and stuff. So yeah, let me just tie these up because I don't want the rabbit to chew on it. Okay. So here's the rabbit. We're gonna do. We're gonna. Um, she doesn't. She doesn't like this part, guys. So just make sure you guys have gloves or something because the rabbit will scratch you and that hurts. But um, let's do it real quick. So you go like that, just put her like that in one hand. You can either um, grab her her back legs and her front legs. This is, I'm not injuring the rabbit, so don't put bad comments right there. Because the rabbit is perfect, fine. She's just, she's just going to feed her her babies. That's pretty much it. But um, we're going to, we're going to put the rabbit like that. And like I said, I'm not injuring the rabbit. Just the rabbit just, just doesn't like this position. But, um, I get it by their, um, here. I'm not sure how, really how that calls, but. Okay. Front legs and back legs. Just pretty much like that. That way it's just going to be calm. Get her back leg calm. Her, her, her face calm. Don't, um, like, put the face back really much because you're going to kill this rabbit. Trust me. And, um, okay. So we're going to start bringing the babies in. And they're going to go to eat really quick. So, make sure that, make sure, yeah, make sure that she, you get her because she's going to do that when the baby start, um having some, some feet. So, make sure you have her, her, her legs secure and, um, just everything secure. So, we're going to. Pretty much, we're gonna leave her like that. We're gonna get the rest of the babies. Okay, let me get her back legs, and we just wait here, mm, just about five minutes. That's enough, since these babies are um, almost four weeks old. They don't need that much milk. Um, so we're just gonna, pretty much, we're gonna, yeah, to get it real quick, cool, cause trust me, rabbits don't like being like this, but um. It's just being safe for the for the baby bunnies and for the rabbits. It's just being a safe, save them um, to save all these bunnies for they can't escape and stuff and get eaten by dogs or cats. So we're gonna be right here for um, about um five minutes and um I'll be right back. So I can say it's been more than um. In five minutes already. Um, the rabbits, baby bunnies are still nursing, but some of them are still nursing. Other ones are exploring everywhere now. And um, and um, um, yeah. Um, so we're just gonna, you know, um, just give them a little bit more of milk and. 
then we're gonna stop but make sure you have you give air to your rabbits while they nursing because the rabbits may get um um like not the rabbit is already like she wants to get up we're gonna actually let her up as you can see this baby bunny fly because this girl here <laughs> but um we're just gonna let her now rest and have a good um have a good um you know ear and stuff bunnies are still nursing under her over here can you see nursing right there still so we're just gonna let her just gonna let her right there with their babies and stuff and um they may, may be still nursing as you can see they have big old bellies bellies now big old bellies this is one of our um blackish ones um you can see the better the color it looks like a gray one it actually does look like a gray but it has some black color in it and stuff I'm gonna give you a closer look okay um, so yeah, this is like a chocolate no not really chocolate like grayish um, black bunny this one right here is like um, let me see if you can actually see her color it actually has some spots right here I'm not sure you can see that but um and then the front on her eyes it looks like she wearing mascara she's so adorable <laughs> but um so we have um two of these guys um and then two of these guys And um, we did have two of these guys, but like I said, one got out of the nest and never came back. So we only have that black one now. And then that's pretty much the video, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching and stuff. And that's how I do it. Um, and stuff. So, but I will be putting some um some wire chicken wire in the sides and corners of the fence and stuff right here she has her tattoo right there right there she has her tattoo but um yeah i'm gonna be putting in the next couple of days bunnies are nurse and they're like <laughs> And um, the other bunnies, guys, they're um, about 12 days old now, and um, they op they open their eyes and stuff, so they have fur and stuff, so they're getting big too. So my hair was still nursing. <laughs> Could be good. You can still nurse. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video, and um, you can do it other 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 ways on feeding the bunnies to mama. You can pick her up and just put one of each bunny under her and stuff. And um, that can make it. But I prefer doing this way. Just easier for the bunnies and easier for the mom and stuff. And um, yeah guys, um, hope you like this video, comment, subscribe, and see you later.